I want to share a story with you about the true healing powers of fly fishing. And this story is about a very good friend of mine, Jeff. Jeff and I have been fishing cold water for decades and have had some amazing and incredible adventures on this lake. Jeff and I are also very competitive and we usually have a competition on who catches the most fish, the first fish of the year, and the first dry of the year. And I do have to admit, lately, Jeff has been winning on the quantity category of our contest. At least, that's what he tells his kids every time he comes home. Jeff is a competitor, an athlete. He can run faster than the wind itself. He had a full ride to WSU, leaving as a four-time All-American. He qualified for the Olympic trials in 1980, but the US boycotted those Olympics. So he competed in Australia instead. He was sponsored by Nike and he ran the best 400 at 45.69, which would have placed him well at the Olympic 400 meter finals. Later in life, he challenged himself again. He won the state masters 400 meter when he was 54 years old. Jeff is a competitor. It's hard to believe that just four weeks ago, we were on Coldwater Lake together on one of our first trips of the year. During this trip, Jeff divulged to me that he has another challenge that he plans to overcome. And that is cancer. This is going to be one of Jeff's biggest challenges as the cancer is aggressive and has advanced. Just 24 days ago, Jeff underwent a major surgery to help mitigate the spread of this aggressive cancer. 23 days ago, Jeff and I made a pact, a goal, and before he needed to start radiation at the end of the following month, we would hit cold water to have a little spiritual healing prior to his next battle. And in just over three weeks from that procedure, we were out on Coldwater Lake. Coldwater did not disappoint. We had an absolute incredible morning and an incredible day of fishing, full of thoughtful conversation, reminiscing, and fantastic topwater action. We made another pact on this day that we would hit the October caddis hatch late October. People talk about the healing powers of fly fishing. And I really believe that to be true. For myself, whenever I'm on the river or lake, or I'm just out there fly fishing, I forget all my troubles. And that was the same for Jeff on this day. For this one day, cancer wasn't the topic. Only the sights and sounds of a very special place for both Jeff and I. And the camaraderie that comes with fly fishing together with a very good friend. Jeff, I look forward to our next trip on cold water. And I know you got this, my friend. But seriously, this is what it's all about. Look at this morning. Oh my God. This is why we get up at two something in the morning to be out here to see this. So beautiful. Just wow. We're in first place. First person's here. What a shock. <laughs> wow. I mean, I could just sit here and look at this, you know? No. 
<laughs> They're fish fries. Let's get out there. Oh. I know. I bet the fish can see it now. <laughs> That's me! <laughs> Who's the greatest fisherman? in the world. <laughs> Look at it out here, Jeff. That sky is incredible. Yeah. It's like the only cloud, too. Yeah, it's like it framed it up perfectly. Doing okay in the casting. Mm -hmm. Right here, I'm getting feels good. Everything feels really good. I've seen a lot of sunrises here. <laughs> I'm just like taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> this place sucks. Fish on. Fisherman in the world. That's you. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> One to nothing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. I'm dead them for you. Got a big cut. Doing a cut and run. Oh, that's a good fish. Whoa! Oh, oh. oh. oh, yeah. That is a great fish. Look at that thing. Don't swim upside down. <laughs> Oh, right there. Like, yep. Nope. Right over here. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I missed it. At least I know they want to eat my fly. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, Jeff. I mean, that is huge. Look at this. That is like a classic looking beehive too. Look at that thing. There's bees coming in and out of them. Wow. That's a heck of a beehive, wow. Those yellow jackets, they'll come after you too if you mess around with them. So we have this heather that lines the driveway and I saw these yellow jackets kind of flying into the he heather on a regular basis. Mm. And then on closer inspection, they had um, burrowed down below the heather within the heather. Mm. So I got a can of that. Oh my God, that was a big fish too that I missed. Oh. How does that happen? I mean, that, that fly was literally in the fish's mouth. Oh, that presentation. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Will he give me another chance? Do you have a hook on that? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I got a fish and I wasn't even fishing. I finally got one. Later. And you know, I actually was, I was rearing up to cast and there was a fish on it. Oh, that's nice. Well, broke the spell. Thank God. Well, he had time to literally digest the fly. Oh. <laughs> 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 Good 
fish. Ooh, look at that rise right there to your front of you. See it? To your harder to your right, more in the, in the middle. Oh, right there. Right there. My bad. Oh, it's like your brain wouldn't connect to your arm. <laughs> <laughs> he's by, he's to the right of you. Can you see him swimming? Yeah. Right there. Oh my God. I totally called that one for you. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. One, two, one. There's number five. Nice. Come in, come in. Coming in hot. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Vantage stand. <laughs> Ooh, there's a fish. <laughs> Competition. Water's still cold. It's always when I'm not fishing. Is that one or two? That is three. That is three there, Jaframzy. It's a dandy too. That almost that almost should count as two fish. Yeah. That's a real fish. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> hey fish. Hmm.